If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the Wild Card Wednesday, which is, of course, every Wednesday. We got the new drop. We got a five rising stars. We have some stuff to go over, guys. We also have a free Wild Card Wednesday pack, which does make you eligible to be able to take one of these rising stars for today or one of the past weeks of Wild Card Wednesday drop. So, Stay tuned throughout the video. I will talk a bit about my favorite one for this specific drop, right? And then, of course, if you guys want one from a past drop, that is fine. But I'm going to go over who I would take if I was taken from this drop. So let's start with the first guy. We have Gregory Rousseau for the Buffalo Bills. 87 speed, 90 excel. Off the bat, that's a super athletic end. I have no problem taking a guy with speed like that just to start off with that. 87 strength's really, really good. 88 tackle. 82 player X, a little low. 90 block shed's really good. 91 power move, guys. So you're getting a threshold block shedder and power move rusher with great, great speed. So take that for what it is. Gregory so is really, really good. And 90 overall, he can be powered up to 91 as well, which will get him to an 88 speed with 91 Excel with 89 tackle, 88 strength. This card's good. I think he's really, I think he's underrated. I think a lot of people have been talking about some of the other guys in this drop. Meanwhile, Gregory so is being pretty underlooked in my opinion i think he's actually a really really good card i think the only problem with gregory or so is that most people will want you know who have god squads are buying the best ends in the game and you know don't want to get stuck with the 91 but at the same time a lot of people maybe can't afford the best ends in the game right and this is speed with threshold combos you really can't go wrong with that ever but next we have chase claypool wide receiver for the pittsburgh steelers now fortunately juju smith schuster did go out for season um needs shoulder surgery but chase claypool should be stepping up now guys so for all you guys we pay attention to stats and stuff. Chase Claypool should be having an uptick in targets as well as maybe production going forward. So for all you fantasy guys out there, it should be a bit better. I had Claypool and fantasy as a rookie, and he was actually really fun to own. A little bit worse this year, but I think that's almost, I mean, almost guaranteed to have been Big Ben's fault, right? He's just really falling off this year. Look, He looks rattled. He doesn't look the same. But anyways, 91 speed on Claypool. That's really, really good. He's a physical archetype. 92 jumping, 91 catching, 89 catching traffic, 91 spec, 88 short, 87 medium, 91 deep. So getting the deep route running is huge in terms of the fact that if you want to send him deep with that speed, you can. So you will have a 92 speed powered up, above 90 catching, above 93 jumping, above 90 catching traffic, above 90 spec. So you're going to be an all-purpose, all-capable catcher, route, uh, deep route runner. The only thing that sucks is his short's only going to be 89, his medium's 88. If you can get a... Th um, one of these strat cards on that get him up to above 90 on route running that would be pretty awesome but claypool's good i mean i don't think he's meta by any means i mean there's faster guys there's other guys too but he's good i really like this chase claypool card as well next we have isaiah simmons now the biggest problem with simmons guys is that his thing above field general does not say ss or fs right he's not a safety i you guys if this card if this exact card stats and name and everything had a safety symbol above he would probably be a meta card or considered a meta card right now and the fact that he doesn't have that is really killing people's opinions on him now let's go for stats right he's a 91 speed linebacker that's incredible that's great 91 excel that's great he's like six foot three six foot four that's crazy as well 80 strength 84 tackle 82 player 83 block shed is really good as well considering again if he was a safety 91 hit power 89 zone so powered up he'll have the 90 zone threshold he'll have above 90 hit power he'll have above he'll have 92 speed 92 excel at a six foot three six foot four frame this card would be absolutely crazy at safety now what is it what happens at linebacker a linebacker he still has crazy stats but the problem is he will no longer animate or boost in speed the way safety will right so the only thing is he's gonna need lurker for sure which hurts him a little bit because it does take up some ap and he won't animate still the same way safeties do. And he'll struggle a bit to really just move the way a safety moves. But otherwise, guys, it's still a really good card. If you need a linebacker, you can't really go wrong with Isaiah Simmons, quite honestly. And next, guys, we have Nick Bolton, another linebacker. I really wish they didn't do two linebackers considering how much people resent linebackers in this game. 89 strength, though, 90 tackle. I mean, for the, the Chiefs team teams and Chiefs in general, um, players who like Nick Bolton, he's fast. I'm pretty sure he's pretty tall, too. 85 strength, 88 tackle. 82 player 89 blocks is actually really good which may give him a little up over you know simmons in some aspect there 92 hit power 78 zone so for you guys who believe that zone coverage is nothing for linebackers anymore nick bolton might be a great sub in on like you know on run packages with that he'll get a 90 block shed powered up which makes him really insane at stopping the run he's a great run stopper 
he gets 90 speed with a 90 block shed with close to 90 tackle and above 90 hit power he's gonna be one of the best run stuffing linebackers in this game the way to use him like i said is that he'll be situational though you know simmons would be out there in passing downs and like if you guys if you're on goal line you want to sub nick bolton in like that's just how that works i don't necessarily know if people care enough to actually go through all the effort of doing all those things in order to go ahead and finish a run play but if you guys care enough about that stuff that is what he'd be useful for so if you play if you play like that nick bolton's not horrible although i wouldn't take him because he's not an every down player just because of the zone and the fact that he's not as fast as simmons and all them right there's better options in that aspect next we have mac jones quarterback for the new england patriots now unfortunately mac jones does not get hot route master which means he's going to be an ability less quarterback in terms of you know hot route master gunslinger he's not getting either right probably really close to 80 speed on mac jones is kind of crazy i don't even i don't even think he should have an 80 speed i mean yeah that's kind of that's kind of wild i mean he's fat i don't think he's faster than rogers but who knows 92 throw power that's really good 90 short 91 medium 90, 89 deep 86 throw under pressure 77 throw on the run 82 play action. now in my opinion right when you power him up he will be an all threshold passing guy which actually makes him pretty valuable if you like if, okay if you're a patriots theme team obviously if you're a budget squad or you just can't afford a good quarterback mac jones can make every throw you need him to make only problem is going to be gunslinger and Howard master but if you are a guy that can't afford to have like guys that get those abilities anyways although there's zach wilson right so of course you can and you're tired of inaccurate throws mac jones may be just your guy he's super accurate he can be powered up of course he will be he's also the highest overall of the bunch as you guys can see here right so he's gonna be a 91 overall which means 92 overall which means he'll probably be the best bang for your buck in terms of team rating and overall overall but again it's mac jones it's also a quarterback uh it's you know it's an ability less quarterback that isn't a long-term option in your team so how much do you really want to waste now if i had to rank them guys for me personally who i would take my last option would probably be mac jones and that's just primarily because he's a quarterback and i do not want to be stuck with a quarterback again there's worse options in terms of players i mean i think nick bolton's worse than him so let's backtrack actually i'm not gonna in general for most people i'd say the last person you want to take is nick bolton from a linebacker stamp from this from this five drop nick bolton comes in the last mac jones gets a one up on him because he is a 91 overall but at the end of the day he's still a quarterback he's still not something you really want to be taking with the nat Coming in number three, so we have these three left. I would say Claypool is number three, just because of the fact that he's not going to be the fastest wide receiver in the game. You know, he's not going to be that guy just yet. He's also a physical archetype. He also doesn't get all the route running thresholds, but he's still good. Number two for me is Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons, again, he's a linebacker. He's going to need AP to actually make him better. He's still really fast, still really good, still can play zone, do everything. But again, a linebacker, that's going to hurt him a little bit. There's plenty of good linebackers. You can put a safety at linebacker. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do there. My personal number one is Gregory Rousseau. People may have slept on this guy. I mean, I get it. He's an end. I mean, there's other ends you could put in there, but you're getting a left end, right? A pass rusher, 91 overall powered up with 88 speed, 91 excel with above 90 block shit and power. So he will be able to last for at least a month or two just with threshold wise. And usually the problem with getting a threshold end, right? Let's say you get an 80 speed or a 79 speed threshold end, like an Aaron Donald, right? What's the problem with him? Within the month, Players get so fast that Aaron Donald needs an upgrade to get that speed boost up to at least 80s to be useful. Gregory Rousseau being at an 87 or 90 excel, they could drop a Julius Peppers with 90 speed. And Gregory Rousseau still right there. Like, although he may not be as great as a rusher, as long as they're not 99 and thresholds are still the same way we're used to them being, they shouldn't feel pretty different in pass rushing. The biggest thing is going to be abilities. I mean, that's really going to be the biggest difference. And this year, pass rushing abilities have felt broken, quite honestly. So I think Gregory Rousseau is a great pick as a guy you can put, you can put there. And hope that he'll give you similar productions to some of the elite guys. You guys, about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And, of course, guys, comment down below who your favorite one is. So, again, last place is going to be Nick Bolton. Fourth is Mac Jones. Third is going to be Claypool. Second is Simmons. And first is going to be Gregory Roos. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you need coins, pick up any of these guys outside of your free pack. And, by the way, if you want to know how you get your free pack, you go over to these solos here and you play the Rising Star solos. And if you did go ahead and play through them each and every week and you're at the requisite stars you will be able to get your free pack today and these solos are super easy score a passing touchdown on one drive pass 50 yards to drive just throw a streak it's arcade mode it should take about five seconds thank you guys for watching enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace